Hey everybody, it's Monica. Hey, I want to share my hair care routine for my daughter. So I'm going to start by saying I'm a full-time working mom. Um, so I try to keep her hair in cornrows or in braids because one, I want to make sure it stays healthy and it grows um, and to avoid all types of breakage. But also I don't have time to do her hair all the time, like multiple times a week. Oh, <laughs> you got me messed up. But as you can see, it was time for her hair to come out. It's been about two weeks, don't judge me, but it's been about two weeks and she didn't want me to do her hair. I had to bribe her with the show and some snacks. So as I gently took down her hair because I wanted to make sure I didn't cause any breakage, there were some times where I did have to cut out some of her bands, but that's okay. Sometimes we have to lose some fibers in this battle. When it came to washing, I just used some sulfate-free shampoo and I really focus on cleaning her scalp because when I tell you at school, I don't know what she does, but it all ends up in her hair. Afterwards, I applied you know, conditioner to restore moisture and then as I was combing it out, I also had a detangler in there as well as like extra moisture. And then I used the detangling brush to get out like the rest of the knots and just to make sure like the product was like spread evenly throughout her hair. After detangling, I part her hair for styling and I use this really good braiding jam to braid in to help keep everything like together and the parts nice and neat and it also adds a bit of shine and hold to the braids and helps them stay in a little bit longer so to maintain her braids and protect her hair i make sure that she sleeps with a bonnet or a silk pillowcase and this is a bit you know it's like a uh, at times because she doesn't really like bonnets she doesn't like sleeping on um like things covering her hair which i get it i don't either i barely sleep with my bonnet but it's like, okay, mommy's not trying to do your hair again. And I want it to look neat as long as possible. So please use this bonnet. This is where it gets tricky. She doesn't want a silk pillowcase or a satin pillowcase. She wants a bluey pillowcase. It's like, why don't they make satin bluey pillowcases for little kids? But the reason why I try to keep the bonnet and use a satin pillowcase is because it helps reduce the frizz and it prevents the breaking. And I know growing up for me, I didn't have that. Like, I didn't have satin pillowcases and bonnets and my hair would break off so much and I was just told like oh that's just what your hair does you know like that's just that's just curly hair it just breaks off and now I'm just like I'm just trying to make sure my daughter doesn't experience the same thing I experienced so with that being said moisture is key I use leave-in conditioners and natural oils like coconut oil and when I'm using my coconut oil I also add a little bit of rosemary oil and peppermint oil just like a little bit so it doesn't like burn her scalp or anything like that but just enough to like you know aid in that blood circulation and help with her hair growth so I don't use like bun hairstyles, like I don't put her hair in buns, but styles like braids and twist, it's great for minimizing manipulation and breakage. Like I'm all about minimizing breakage, right? And I just wanna make sure like the styles are not too tight. While the rubber bands here may seem like it's super tight, it's really just the jam that's flattening her hair. But growing up, my father always told me not to put in rubber bands too tight because it will pull out your hair. It puts a lot of tension and could cause like alopecia. So you just wanna make sure like the rubber bands are not too tight. When it comes to like trimming her hair, I've trimmed her hair maybe once so far and I know I need to do it some more, but um, it's just something like, okay, I gotta make sure she's in the right mood to do it. You know, I, I can't just be trimming her hair and her like throwing a fit. That's like a whole chunk of her hair that could be out. But yeah, so this is like the final look for her hair. I am just finishing these braids because the back part, um, I wanted to braid that into singles, but she was thrown to fit. She wanted to be done and I wanted to be done. So I was like, let me just put this all up. I am my biggest critic. And when I see her hair, I see all the things that I could have done differently. Like I could have brought these braids down a little bit lower, but you know, I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm gonna focus on the fact that I don't have to do her hair for another two, three weeks.